Okay, so you guys have homework while you take her. So I've been working on clicker conditioning her, and it's actually been a little bit slower process, so it'll be good. Um, I'm gonna send you guys home with the clicker, and this is how I want you to feed both of her meals. You can do it in uh, like three, four minute sessions. It's not gonna be long. So I'll demonstrate um, what her dinner looks like. Hi, pretty girl. And then if you guys could just do that, it would really help progress out while she's back at home. So I got my clicker. I keep a leash on her just so I can create a small swimming pool and keep her with me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, I'm going to reach in my treat pouch, and I'm gonna throw a piece of food on the ground. Click, throw a piece of food on the ground. Click, give her a handful. So one on the ground, second one on the ground, and a whole handful. Now the important thing with clicker conditioning is it needs to be a click by itself, then the food comes. If I go click and throw the food, I'm not creating a, a, like there has to be a pause. There has to be a one, they say 1.3 second pause between to properly classically condition. So I wait, click, grab a food and throw. And I don't care so much what she does, but what I would love is if she is creating that snapback reaction. Girl. So that's why I'm throwing the food. I'm letting her go away from me, go away from me, click. And then she's coming back, back, good girl, yeah, good girl. And what I'm doing is I'm basically creating in her mind that the click is the same response as what it, what what she feels when she eats food. So this is gonna be really helpful when I'm using this to teach her something or to build her confidence that when she's making the right choice, I'm marking it with what we call dynamite. Like, I want her to be super excited every time she hears this. So we do this process. And I was about to just speed it up just because I'm on a time crunch and I need the behaviors. But since she's going home, great time. Like, the more that we can do this and literally not ask for any behaviors um, or create any, like, true, uh, where I don't have any true end goal. Like, I have no end goal, just that she's having a fast response to the e-call. I'm sorry, the clicker. Girl, he's a good girl. And remember that delay is super important from when I grab the food. Grab the food. Now, if I'm in a rush and you only have one minute to do this, you literally could do a one session and going click, throw a piece of food, click, throw another piece of food, click, give her her whole meal. Like, just keep grabbing handfuls of it, give her her bowl, something. But at the very least, do, if you could do three minutes, that'd be great. If you don't have time and need to do it in one, at least do that. You'll just really help speed up the process. Um, and the more powerful this is, the easier it's gonna be to teach her things. Good girl.